Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. We're talking Balenciaga chip bags today from the Balenciaga Spring Summer 2023 fashion show, right? From the muddy fashion show, the mud fashion show that, dare I say, copied Vivian West was Nostalgia of Mud from 1982. Anyway, you guys, if you want to check out my review of the Balenciaga runway spring summer 2023 you can check out that video up above or down below but now we're going to review one particular accessory from that show now from last season everybody was screaming and yelling and shouting and begging for one of balenciaga's leather garbage bags now how did they up that moment for next season well they upped it by creating potato chip lays potato chip leather bags now when they hit instagram people were surprised a lot of people were commenting wait is this a joke is this for real oh my god this is genius blah 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 well let's get to it first subscribe to my channel if you haven't already push the join button next to the subscription button become a member today and gain access to extra perks you can also join me on patreon super decab all spelled together there as well for extra perks this video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream every Saturday and you're all invited to join the live chats. Let me cue in the live chats. Uh, hi, live chat. How is it going, y'all? All right. Yeah, potato chips. <laughs> I'm sorry I got always... Uh, well, I'm glad you're with us, Lorenzo. So, y'all, these potato chips... Um, I have a couple of pictures to share with you directly from Demna Gvasalia's or Gvasalia's Instagram account. Um... I think Demnagram, well, you're going to see it. And then, so first to respond to the question, are these chip bags real or not? Well, uh, like, is it really a bag by Balenciaga or did somebody custom make them? Or is this a sort of a find me on Etsy type of moment? Oh, speaking of find me on Etsy, <laughs> get my merch, but not on Etsy. The original is only under www.superdacob.com, but you can also get it in a few select Amazon stores in a few select countries worldwide. Yas, queen. The Super Deco merch is here. So, okay. You can choose the flavor. They're going to have different colors. Let me cue in the photos. Now, the photos are a little bit all over the place, so I hope that there's going to be a proper order to them. Okay, so this is directly from Demnagram, from Demna's uh, Instagram account. And this is in one of their showrooms or wherever they were planning co to coordinate the show, the mud show uh, and we see three different colorways blue yellow red representing different flavors of lays chips and it does say balenciaga underneath the lays logo on the yellow one you can see it in particular and of course a lot of people were like writing commenting is this for real is this just a joke are these for real blah 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 okay so then there's more photos and there's also videos but i um Balenciaga's next must-have bag, Lay's branded bag. This is what Demna, uh, or whoever for Demna, commented. Now, everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only. Just my opinion, not rooted in any facts or truths. Everything's alleged. Just make it very clear. Vomitella Versace says, someone is trolling. First of all, love the username. I don't know who you are, but Vomitella. So for those of you who don't know Italian, vomit. I mean, vomitella, vomitare means to vomit. But then Donatella Versace is Donatella. So there's this vomitella, there's a really, really cool word game. Whoever you are. Now, uh, Balenciaga's next, next must have back. So let me show you the next picture. I also started taking screenshots at a certain point of his video. Now, this is the screenshot I took from the video from the same post from Demnagram. Uh, where they opened the bag. You see there's a zipper on top and then the bag is silver inside. Um, you know, just like a bag of chips, right? Except the bag of chips would not have a zipper. <laughs> I mean, we'll go, we'll go. But no, no zipper for the real chips. So anyway, so this is how it looks inside. Let me show you another picture. So this is the blue version, Balenciaga Paris. And uh, people have been asking, well, what material? Are these baglets made of? Now we've seen them. We've seen them hit the runway. Uh, one in particular hit the runway, and we do get an answer as to what material these bags are. I would use the bag for grocery shopping, says Debbie. Well, it's not that big. It's a tiny bag, right? It's like this big, and it's it isn't leather. 
And we're also going to get to the bottom of what leather it is. Let me show you the next picture. And then we're also, we're also going to get to the bottom of who did it first? Ouch. Yeah, Demna, once again, you're not the first to do something and you're not the first to do it good. Did you do it good? Hmm. Um, A. Matty says, oh no, your cleaner would throw it out. <laughs> Could you imagine? You're going to Paris Fashion Week. You've received this as a goodie, as a freebie from Balenciaga because you're such a good client. And you're in your bedroom, in your hotel room, and you leave it on your table as you're you know, getting ready and you forget it on your table and you leave out. And then the cleaning lady comes and cleans your room, throws away the bag of chips. <laughs> and then you come back, you're like, um, so, <laughs> did somebody steal my bag of chips? Uh, no, <laughs> somebody thought it was trash. Anyway, let me, so this is the yellow version. Let me show you the next one. This is the back of it. They even have the nutrition facts printed on it. And then um, everything is kind of one-to-one -one Lay's chips, except probably the made in is going to say made in Italy in the back or something like that. Okay, next picture. So this is what I was trying to capture the moment to see what's exactly inside because there's something white inside of that bag. And I was sus. I was suspicious. Like, what is that? Is it like toilet paper? What is it? But then I noticed that underneath the bag of chips, there is a printed paper. Now, since I've worked many years in fashion and in, in marketing and in sales and behind the scenes and production, I can tell you, I know what those leaflets are. That leaflet is literally um, an instruction leaflet for the sample, how the sample should be worn on the runway. Are there going to be any changes made to the final product? There's like a lot of information on these leaflets. And in fact, <laughs> we're also going to get to the bottom of what's on the leaflet because I kept going through the video trying to find the moment when the image was sharp enough to see what's actually on the leaflet. Let me see if the next picture shows it. We're getting there slowly, uh, but surely. So, <clears throat> strictly confidential, says the leaflet. Hold on, I have it here as well for me in big so that I can also see it with you so I don't have to like watch my control monitor. Super tiny. But um, isn't this something interesting? So, what we have here, it says, look, 61A2 Benjamin or Benjamin. Benjamin is uh, the model who is going to wear the, or who's supposed to wear this chip bag on the runway, right? And <clears throat> it's, it says, LOL pouch. <laughs> Literally, LOL pouch, chips, glossy lamb blue. So it's lambskin. Printed in blue, because this is the blue lace version, and it's called the LOL pouch. Now, in red, it it tells us details about how this particular piece uh, either changes from the sample to the final version or what it actually means. And it says here how to style it on the runway. Chips must be worn on left hand always to be styled open so you see the silver lining stuffed and then it's cut off but it's stuffed with silk so that white stuff which to me still looks like tissue paper but they say that it has to be during the runway stuffed with silk or crepe de soie like crepe de chine like um mattified silk and it has to be open so that you see the silver interior and the model has to wear it on the left side. And this, Vomitella says, is it plated with rhodium on the inside, LOL? You heard it here first, the shop. <laughs> Let me show you the next picture. Maybe there's a better... Haha, -ha. we see the whole styled moment. <laughs> Benjamin wearing uh, the, the duffel bag and the little chip bag in, in his arms or in their arms. We don't know if Benjamin is a they, but, um, sorry, what, what does it say? 
<sighs> no, it says in left hand. Chips must be worn in left hand. Now, let me show you the next picture. And, and you can see the OG. Okay, so let's go back here. So um, what we have here, it says Balenciaga, Benjamin, man, it says. Okay, so this is the man look for Balenciaga, spring, summer, 2023. So, and it also says uh, small leather goods, team, strictly confidential, right at the bottom. So right there at the bottom, it's going to say that. So the fact that Demna photographed this or filmed this and posted it on his Instagram account <laughs> is literally like he leaked it. He leaked the information about the chip bag, whether or not this was intentional. It could have been intentional. He could have wanted to do it on purpose and make it look like it wasn't done on purpose. But like, look, this is a real thing. I'm even showing you how it's going to be styled on the runway. But this is a leak. And now I'm sharing it with you since Mr. Demna posted it officially on his own Insta. But now let's see again who originally did it first with the chips. You best believe it. Good old Jeremy Scott from Moschino. This was fall, winter 2014. This was Jeremy Scott's first collection for Moschino, his couture collection. She's also wearing a bag of chips in her hand. Just like the other model. And she's, well, chips, you know. It's a snack. <laughs> cheetah, <laughs> cheetah chips or puffs, cheetah puffs. But she has a whole dress and the bag of chips to go with it. Let me show you the next picture. So this is how it looked like if you actually purchased it. So that bag of chips came with a detachable chain. Uh, so you could wear it, you know, on the shoulder, it would hang off the shoulder, or you could, you know, either put the chain in the bag or take it off and you could just wear like she wore it, like grab your bag of chips. So now this was 2014, you guys. Um, now Demna is doing the Lay's chips in 2023 and a lot of kids who are now in that age where they're interested in fashion, you see how time buries everything? Because this, this piece is from 2014. It's not that long ago. You would think it's not that long ago, but if you really think about it, that's eight years ago. Almost nine years ago, because we're almost in 2023. So this is almost nine years ago. So somebody who was maybe... Let's say seven years old back then. They were too young. I mean, I'm not saying... Somebody can be into fashion at the age of three already or two. But let's say a, a kid that was seven years old when this thing hit the runway, they didn't care about fashion. Now, you know... Um, Eight years later, what are they now? 15, 16, it's almost nine years later. 15, 16 years old. Now they're, now they're starting to get into fashion. And their new idols are, you know, Kanye, Demna, Balenciaga, all that stuff. And they like see a potato chip bag. They're like, oh my God, this is so revolutionary. They have no clue that almost 10 years ago it was already done because they were too young back then when this thing was a thing. Isn't that interesting? Lorenzo says, I remember that Moschino collection was breathtaking. It was amazing. I have a lot of pieces from that collection, from the fall winter. I have all the McDonald's in particular, the McDonald's pieces, the McDonald's, uh, the Moschino McDonald's sunglasses, the um, Happy Meal bag, uh, the French fry bag, the milkshake bag, the... Um, the McDonald's kind of like timeless classic flap bag, the quilted one, the cashmere sweater, the shirt, the high heel shoe. I mean, I'm I like obsessed. It was his first collection for Moschino and it was awesome. And well, that's that, you know, that's that. Now, let me show you the other alternative you can actually also get. Here's another photo uh, from Etsy. <laughs> <laughs> or make it yourself. <laughs> Just buy Cheetos and, uh, you know, <laughs> ta-da! You can do the real thing. And quite frankly, I wanted to show you this piece at the end because, yeah, you could say, oh, it's a DIY. But I find this way more revolutionary than actually doing the whole thing out of lambskin leather and printing it. 
with with like uh, Lay's logo on it or or Cheeto's logo on it. I find the actual just eating it, cleaning the bag so that inside it's clean, and then you just repurpose the plastic bag and you you wear it as a bag. That to me is a DIY moment worth doing more than actually buying the chip bag, if we're really gonna be honest. <laughs> Trisha says Etsy's is better than the Balenciagas. Just saying. And that, that concludes our little photo journey. Let me zoom my, myself back in. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I hope that we're kind of putting stuff into proportions here and also in perspective. When is something new? When is something innovation? When, when does something mean anything really in the fashion world in particular? Because it's like every moment... Every fashion moment in time has its time. And for every generation, every generation finds its own time. But the, the thing is this, the more time passes, even though you might have been born just 15 years ago and you're just getting into fashion now. However, the general time that fashion exists or the commerce of fashion exists, it, it keeps growing. And more and more of that time passes and more and more pieces are made. And the more pieces are made, the less there is to innovate. So you might be only 15 years old today, but think about it. 50 years from now, somebody else is going to be 15 years old and they're going to just be at the beginning of their journey, but you will be 50, 5 zero, 50 years older than you are today. By that time, <laughs> I want... <laughs> You're going to see the potato chip bag made by another 20 different brands. And you're going to experience 20 different new generations saying, oh my God, this is genius. This is so groundbreaking. And you're going to be the one saying, no, it's been done before. So true innovation comes from knowledge. You got to know where you're coming from. You got to know what's been done, how it's been done, because only if you know, can you innovate? Because otherwise you might fall into that trap of thinking you're innovating something when in reality, you're just doing something that somebody else did better than you did before, but you just didn't know that they did it before you. Food for thought, food for thought, food for thought. <laughs> Alex says, oh my God, I'll be 80 in 50 years. Lucky you. I'll be 320, darling. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, never forget to never give up on love. Subscribe.